Hi, it's Anya from DreamWise.co.uk, and I'm just going to be showing you how you can try Linux on your machine without actually installing it, okay? So, it's very simple. You're just going to go to releases.ubuntu.com forward slash releases forward slash 9.10 to download the Comic Koala um, version of Ubuntu, right? Um, download the desktop CD. Um, if you're using a 64-bit PC, then download that. If you're using Intel um, 86 architecture, then download that, okay? And then once you've downloaded it, just use something like Nero Start Smart, okay? And um, all you have to do is burn the IS over to that, but um, you just download it to a disk, a, DV, um, a rewritable CD, okay? And from there, you can just insert that into your computer and you can try Linux without actually installing it. Um, there is a version, there is an option to install it alongside your current operating system, okay? But I strongly recommend that you don't do that. If you do want to install it but, and you also want to um, hold on to the current uh, operating system you have, then I would very strongly recommend buying a second hard drive because things can go wrong and especially with Windows 7 when you resize a uh, partition in Windows 7, there is a very common error in which uh, you're going to start getting notifications saying that Windows isn't genuine, even if it is, okay? And then, obviously, that causes loads of problems and you have to get it fixed and whatnot, okay? So, I suggest that if you're going to, don't try to dual boot it. Instead, if you want to keep your current operating system, but also have Linux, then buy a second hard drive. You could just buy a, tw um, a 60 gigabyte hard drive, a 50 gigabyte hard drive, they're extremely cheap. I'll put a link in the sidebar to one, and um, that way you're not going to mess anything up, okay, if you do want to install it. Um, in fact, I have a terabyte hard drive right here on Amazon, I'll post a link to this as well. It's only um, £67, which is the equivalent to uh, $102. So that's not actually, that's not too expensive for a terabyte hard drive, okay? Or you can just get a smaller one, like a 500 gigabyte one, or even like only a 60 gigabyte one. If you, but this is just if you want to install it. Um, you don't have to install it though. If you burn the ISO to a disk, um, you can boot up from a disk. Well, do, you, yeah, you can boot up from a disk, and once you've booted up from a disk, uh, you have an option to go into a um, a live mode, like um, so it's like a live CD, okay? And then you can run uh, the operating system from the CD without actually installing it, okay? Um, so go ahead and try that, all right? I'll make a quick video showing you what it looks like, all right? Okay, I have my boot up disk here. I'm just gonna turn my computer on. I'm gonna open up the CD drive. I'm gonna put that in there. And now we're gonna go into our uh, um, setup, our BIOS, as the um, just wait for it there. Delete the run setup. So when the BIOS message comes up, you're gonna go into run your um, setup like so. And I'm just gonna wait for it to load. And then we're going to go into boot, boot device priority, and we're going to set the boot di device priority to the CD-ROM. Then if we'll just go to exit, hit OK. And now hopefully we should boot up from the CD, and then we'll be able to go into a live um, Linux live sort of mode, OK? And I'm just going to show you this, just to show that you don't have to actually install it to try it out. Alright. It's just booting up. Okay, English. Try Ubuntu without any change to your computer. Hit enter. Now just wait for it to load. And here it is, it's loading up now. And you can even, if you want, you can um, un you can go here and unplug the uh, SATA connector on your hard drive if you're worried about losing any data. 
and then obviously if your hard drive isn't connected to your motherboard then there's no way it can override any data. Alright. And here it is. As you can see we're in a live version of Ubuntu, we can go on Mozilla Firefox and whatnot. One problem with um, Linux is it actually doesn't su support dual screen, so instead of having um, being able to go between your screens, it's just going to mirror over two screens, okay? But here it is, yes, uh, Ubuntu, alright? And it's as easy as that. I haven't um, overwritten anything, it's just goes straight into it, okay? So I hope you enjoyed that. And obviously from there you can do all sorts of stuff with them. Um, you can play about with the terminal, you can uh, you can change all the um, whole 3D desktop effects that you have on Linux and whatnot. So I hope you enjoyed this, hope it helped, have a nice day.